Most people, when they first hear the word cancer, only hear one word, and they actually tend to shut down and may not hear much more after that. I think it takes a while for people to process the information, the diagnosis. It takes a while for a compassionate physician to convey effectively the diagnosis. It takes a while for things to sink in. And after they do, then people have a lot of questions, of course. Most people, when they first hear the diagnosis, are quite appropriately fearful, concerned, very upset, and require information in order to help them process the information. They need to take the time to discuss with their physician and with those that work with the physician to help them understand the specifics of the diagnosis, what it means for their treatment, the potential outcome, how it's going to affect their daily lives, and how can they plan uh, to have the best possible outcome. What I've learned as a patient advocate, and I think that is helpful to people today in this society, when they hear they have cancer, there's a wave of emotions. You know, everything from shock to fear, uncertainty, doubt, and you want to immediately go to a computer. You know, you may have a very good relationship with a primary care physician, your general practitioner, and of course that relationship will hopefully help guide you. But to jump on a computer immediately without speaking to a specialist, I think can be a disadvantage in many situations because you're so immobilized with fear. The challenge is always to find a physician or physicians who are most expert in the specific diagnosis that's been given to the patient. Sometimes local medical societies or other cancer organizations, um, there are cancer organizations in many regions um, who can assist people to help find and locate expert physicians. When I'm asked, I always tell people that I think it's a good idea to at least check with the cancer centers in their area to find out who are the most expert people at their center or in the region um, where they work so that they can identify those people that they feel uh, confident would give the best possible care to them. It is important, however, for people, particularly if they're in a situation where they have the opportunity to seek second opinions, to get additional advice from other expert physicians. I always tell people, go get a second opinion. Um, there are so many different types of cancers and people's genetics also play into that as well. Information is power, um, but, but try to find a doctor, a specialist that you're comfortable with and go from there. Support beyond the treatment for cancer should include a variety of support systems. The best cancer care includes support beyond someone just administering a drug or radiotherapy or doing an operation. There has to be a program where people have access to other people who are undergoing care, support groups. Um, often excellent programs have uh, social workers, psychologists, other people who are involved in facilitating the care of patients through the challenging times of uh, diagnosis and treatment and follow-up. It's very, very important to have the kinds of psychological, uh, nutritional, uh, emotional support that one needs to get through this kind of terrible, life-threatening uh, process. Most cancer centers, most major medical centers have also access to support groups. Um, many of them have identified programs where individuals with a particular diagnosis and their families can seek help, can work with that group, can talk with one another, and uh, through the social services available in that institution, uh, get additional uh, support. I tell people to keep a balance. You know, find people in your community, find local organizations, as well as national organizations that can give you information on what your diagnosis is, but be mindful of the personal communication and how important that is through your journey.
Well, ASCOScancer.net is probably the foremost source for online uh, information about cancer. It's an incredibly well-researched, well-written uh, series of uh, programs and information for patients and their families. I highly recommend that to anyone who's facing the diagnosis of cancer. Not only is there a lot of very specific, well-written, well-organized, uh, and up-to-date information, but it's written in a way, I think, that's compassionate, caring, and connects very well with uh, all uh, people. Cancer.net really is a great resource for people who are trying to connect with other people who are maybe going through what they're experiencing. It's in a very real kind of conversational setup. It's got a lot of good um, information regarding you know what your current diagnosis may be. It's got blogs, other data that's just to me it's it's impactful in a sense that it's information, but it's got a human touch to it.